Welcome my viewer. In this tutorial, I will share with you how you can insert shapes using Microsoft Word application. The version of Microsoft Word I'm using is Microsoft Word 2013, but you are free to select any Microsoft Word application of your choice. So let's start by creating a file on our desktop by right clicking anywhere on a desktop then we go to new and then we select the option microsoft word document we click there once let's enter the name of this particular document i'll call this document as a cylinder because i'm interested in drawing a cylinder using microsoft word when you're done just click anywhere outside members let's go on and open this particular file by double clicking on its icon you see that a blank Microsoft Word document will be open and the file name is a cylinder. So let's go and insert these particular shapes by clicking once on the insert icon. Then we go to shapes. Then we can move around and we find a cylinder is here. Then you click on it once. So when you want to draw any shapes like a cylinder, Press and hold down the left button of your laptop and slide this around. So I will slide this around. You see that we shall come up with the shapes of our choice. So this is a cylinder. So I'm going to insert this particular cylinder and I will leave it there. When you're done, just double click anywhere outside. So members, let's proceed by formatting this particular cylinder. The first thing we have to do is to remove the fill effect. So let's click once to select this cylinder. You see that the format tools will appear here. It means its ribbon will also appear. So let's go to shape fill and then we say no fill. Removing the fill effects will help us to write on this particular cylinder. We can type on it. So we are done with removing the fill effect. We can go and also remove format the outline then we can say shape outline and then we can pick any color it can be yellow red or any color of your choice for me i want a black outline when you're done just double click anywhere outside so now let's go and now handle inserting them the height like uh, leveling the height using arrows so let's go to insert then shapes afterwards we can click pick this particular arrow left click on it then you come where you want to draw this particular arrow if there press and hold down the left button of your laptop of the mouse then press shift on the keyboard and then you slide this particular arrow going upwards when you're done release it by removing your hand from the left button of your mouse when your hand is still on shift then you double click so that you can come up with a straight arrow so let's also go and do the downer arrow we shall follow the same procedure like insert shapes then after we shall click on this particular arrow that if i want the height i can start from here then i will slide this particular arrow going downward so press and all the left button on your mouse or laptop then afterwards you press shift then you bring this particular arrow down when you are done with it release your hand from the left button of your mouse and then you double click when your hand is still on shift so that you can come up with this particular arrow so what we do we can format this particular arrow we can select that once then we go to format after that we can change the outline we can just say we need color black and even you can change the weight of this particular line we can make it to be maybe three out of four points you can leave it at that point then you come and click on this again down one you go to shape outline then you make it black you can change the weight of this particular line to maybe three out of four when you're done you can leave it at that point then you can double click there at the center you can double click anywhere there don't worry about the position of this you can always uh, work on it you can bring this particular arrow downward so that we can have it there yes you can bring it there then we shall have it at that point yeah you can just come with it when you're done you can leave it at that particular point so our height is already there you can also move this one down a bit you can bring it down like that you can change the position when you're done you can just click on that particular arrow so let's go and level our 
radius so we go to insert we shall use double arrows this time oh you can also use a single arrow i will go to shapes then afterwards i can click on this particular arrow then you come using the same procedure of dropping the arrows press and hold down the left button then shift that one then you slide this you come up with this straight arrow when you want it at that particular cooler pine leave the left button on your laptop then you double click when your hand is still on shape so that you can come up with this particular arrow so you can also format it we can click on that then we go to format then shape outline we can make it black or any color of your choice then we can also look at the weight if you are satisfied we can pick any weight like three quarter so we can just do it at that point so let's double click up so that we can level the height of this particular cylinder actually what well, not the height sorry we can just level the radius of this particular cylinder guys we are not yet done let's go and group this particular shape grouping is very important in microsoft word grouping is done so that the arrows and as well as this particular cylinder appears like one shape so what you do is click select this particular cylinder by left clicking then leave your hand on control when you press on control you see that a box will appear down then plus with a plus sign it's showing you that you can select other option or other shapes so you click on that when your hand is still on control click on that when it has shown a plus sign then also click on that when you're done with selecting you can just leave then after you go to format then after format let's look at the option here it is for grouping so we click and follow this arrow coming downwards then we shall click on group you see that that box will extend outwards it means we are done with now grouping our shape if you want to know whether you have grouped this particular shape you try dragging this shape around you see when i try moving this particular shape around you see what will happen you see it will just move as one unit so that is the importance of grouping grouping makes you to move this particular object as once yeah we can just move you can you can see that you can still bring it at this point yes you can bring it at that point where where initially then you double click and it will just remain there so this is the process of inserting shapes in microsoft office what especially in 2013 but you can use any version of your choice guys thank you so much for watching this tutorial i really appreciate you so much for watching my videos and also liking commenting and even giving me feedback it makes me to improve a lot thank you so much